What's going on, y'all? This good old Johnny Bobby. Uh, look at here, look at here. I got me a situation over here. So we got us a good old nasty, nasty. I say now, nasty hoarder. So you know, you know, we, you know, you know. Sometimes you know people got some things and stuff going on, but sometimes you're just nasty. But anyway, here we go. We got to get up all this stuff out of here. So they want to keep the furniture. We were initially going to get the carpet out. We're going to pull all the carpet out, move all the, be very nice, move all the furniture so the new carpet man can come install all this good stuff because it just got to go. Look at that there. The lady had cats. The cats just did what they want. You know, it's just, it was just, it's just, it's dark in here. Why do folks ain't never got no lights? But anyway, we're going to get rid of all of these loose things and the most things we're going to supposed to be leaving is like the furniture, the furniture. So this lady can move back in. Uh, we try something new here with hoarder clean outs. And guess what we're going to do? Nothing. Good old manual labor. That's all it is. So this is the uh, stuff in the garage. There's other things and stuff in the garage that got to get up out of here. The car don't look like it's been moved in a while. I don't even think it worked. Well, July 21, you know, so I guess it's good to go. But anyway, let's check out the laundry room, the the special, the special that we always see. L looks like a fairly new washing machine and dryer now, but uh, hmm, I guess uh, too hard to use it. Who knows? So uh, we're gonna clean all these cabinets. As always, we cannot take uh, hazardous materials. Oh Lord, I almost fell to the floor. All this junk everywhere. So we got to get all this. Look at the cat motel. Cats up in here living good, doing what they want, y'all. But anyway, we're going to get all this stuff out of here. I don't know. I think she's under the, or he or whatever. I don't know. He or she. But uh, anyway, we're going to look in the master bedroom. And if you look in here, she just uh, just did not know how to use the trash can. She had obviously something going on where she had to use these pads and things and stuff. They're laying everywhere. But uh, we're going to show you the nothing on time. This is nothing on time. So check this out. So this is like so common. Why we just didn't use the trash can, people, sis? So, we got to get all that out. That is filthy. That is like a biohazard to the max. Look at that good toilet bowl, y'all. Mm, who using that thing? Spiders everywhere. But, uh, as usual, we have a standard issue amount of cleaning supplies at these jobs. And I know this is a psychological issue. I'm not making fun of these folks. The sad part about it is, is somebody not making them get right here's another bathroom it just looked like somebody just used the bathroom on a good flow and just said screw it that is crazy look at that that's horrible just waste it on the floor and leave it there so let's go in this other bedroom we are going to get all oh, this is looking a little better man there's so many spider webs in this house good lord i don't know what i'm gonna do about this and then that uh closet is full of stuff as always so let me back on out of here. The cat feces everywhere. Now, if they're who I need to know who's gonna clean this carpet. That's what I want to know. This room a little dark. We're gonna get all this stuff out of here. Uh pack to the flow. I don't know how long these folks been living here, but this a you know, this is a fair amount of things and stuff. And you know, I would just say just don't like cleaning up, you know. It's okay, hire somebody. Somebody to do it for you. But this is the order job we working with. Uh, like I say, you know, when you do this every day for a living, we're not making fun of these folks. We're just, what we're trying to do is let y'all know, look out for your neighbors. Help them out. If they living like this, give us a call so we can get them straightened on out so they can get a fresh start in life. You know, that's all we're trying to do. So this is the hoarder clean out in Virginia Beach. If you knew the neighborhood I was in, no neighborhoods are exempt. Trust me. We see it in every type 
of neighborhood. It doesn't matter race, religion, creed, ethnic status, monetary status. We do them all. So don't think this is an isolated thing to a specific people. So this is the Hoarder Clean Out, Virginia Beach. We knocked these out. It's just a little humor going on with this. But for the most part, we're going to get all these things and stuff out of here. And we will let you know how it look on the other side. What's going on, y'all? We're on the other side of this good man's hoarder clean out. So we did what the folks asked us to do. We're going to take a scan through here. Look, we staged the house for the old lady to move back on here. And yes, it was a lady. So she can uh, figure out what she wanted to do. As we told you before... The plan was put the good folks carpet back, pull the carpet up, but they didn't want to do that. So all we did is got rid of the mess, and uh, she's looking for somebody to come clean this carpet, but uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. So we took everything out the kitchen, all this stuff. The cabinets was cleaned out. This floor is tremendous. Uh, we There's another lady that's going to clean this camp up. We clean out. We don't clean up, but we can clean up, but not like this. So... As you can see, the refrigerator needs some work. The floor is terrible. The stove needs to be cleaned up. So when y'all eating at them good folks potluck, just remember, you don't know what's going on in the home. But anyway, this is the dining room. Uh, took all this stuff out of here. As you can see, it was loaded with things and stuff. Here's the laundry room. When I tell you, I ain't never seen clothes packed. Layered and packed in here, they was packed in there. And I'll show you in the dumps of what was going on here in a second. Here is the garage. We cleaned the garage up, swept it up, did our normal little thing in here. As you can see, the dumpster is full of clothes, where well, at least that one is. We cleaned all sides. We always sweep up. We're not lazy. It probably ain't been swept out in 20 years, but it was finally swept out this time. Anyway, all those clothes pretty much came out of the laundry room and a couple closet. Look at this. Look at my spider web that's following me around. Get off me. But anyway, let's go on back through these folks' house and uh, so you can see what's going on. Hope I ain't moving too fast. But uh, here's the living room. The living room was clean now. We got the couch ready to go. She just got to sit the couch. You had bed bugs, so hmm. I hope they ain't got no eggs in there. But uh, we're going to see how that works out. She kept all the knick-knack paddywhack stuff. Clean out that closet. That's where we came in. Let's go into the bedroom. Clean the bedroom out. Well, up, clean, got rid of all the stuff that was in there, shall I say. Now, clean this closet up, folks. The all junk removal people's is. This closet was a full. And my tail did not look in there to notice how full it was, but it was full. Now, let's pan around to the dunk down room. Now, in my old days of living on this earth, which ain't minutes, because I'm a young man in these streets, this was the worst thing ever. We cleaned all that up, and we put some cat litter on. This lady was literally standing over here, stooping over, and using the bathroom right there. Y'all remember what it looked like before? So under those pads was human fee-fees, fee-fees, fee-sees. Y'all know what I'm trying to say? Uh, the carpet, all this stuff on the carpet is human stuffs and things. You know what I'm saying? The lady had an issue. But anyway, as you can see, you know, can't know what's going on. But uh, we took out, we're not messing with that. That's not what we do. Here's the other room. This room has some things and stuff in it. Got all this stuff out of here. Clean it up. Now, the goal is for her to find somebody to come clean this man's carpet and she can move on back in here and get her life back on track, y'all. So here's the last room. This room was loaded down with things and stuff. As y'all know, things and stuff my favorite word. Well, anyway, uh, this room was had a lot of stuff in. These closets was fully loaded down. Got all that stuff out of there. QVC made some money off her. I'm going to tell you that right now, boy. When I tell you she was sitting there shopping it up, she was shopping it up. So I, if she, I ain't seen no Amazon box out here, so she must have had no computer. Because if she was on QVC like that, uh, old Jeff Bezos would love her. But anyway, this is the house. Uh, we're done what we need to do with it. This is a hoarder clean out, Virginia Beach. Uh, this is just, I guess, a hoarder clean out and a stage out to get it ready to live in for the next folks. Anyway, this is Johnny Bobby Junk Collin' Roll Off Dumpsters. 
They're debating if they want us to come up and take this carpet up. And if they do, we'll show you that part as well. Have a groovy day. What's going on, y'all? We on the other side of this other hoarder cleaning out. Now, they wanted us before, they didn't want the carpet moved up. So what we did, we came and got the carpet for them because it just made good old sense. So we picked all the carpet up from them, took it out, it looked night and day. So we typically don't move furniture, but we did this time. Uh, because this good lady was being a good Samaritan to help this lady out that was having this issue. So I said, you know what? Why not go the extra mile and move all the furniture for them so they can actually uh, put the carpet down and complete the job all the way. So we moved stuff around there, spin around, put a lot of it in the garage, is what we did. And then I'm gonna show you the carpet, the carpet game up. All of the carpet, man, when we sweep this thing up, you carpet companies, all y'all gotta do is come in here and lay the carpet or put new tax strips down. Since there was so much liquid damage everywhere, the carpet tax strips may need some new ones. So this is the after of the carpet removal. We didn't feel like taking that old bed apart. It'd be a little easier for them to figure that out. But other than that, that's a lady good clothes that she wanted to keep. And the rest of the stuff is who knows where. And uh, let me show you this hallway. We took that up. She had some good carpet in this thing now. It was some real good carpet. It wasn't none of that cheap carpet, but it was heavily sawed with everything and they mama. So, it's gone, swept up, everything is ready to rock and roll. For the carpet man to come lay new tax strips, he can sweep up, he can get a vacuum. Well, I don't know what they do uh, these days. He might just lay it over, who knows? But that's their business. So, got that knocked out. So, this was the hoarder clean out completion. On the other side of it, carpet removal. We moved the furniture in the garage. I'll show you that here in a second. How we got that, just do a quick walkthrough. I don't want to make this one too long, but it is a decent sized house. Carpet removal, Virginia Beach, after a hoarder. So now, the lady that cleaned this place up did an outstanding job. She really did. So we put all the carpet on up in this, I mean not the carpet, we put all the furniture in the garage out the way, just doing a good act for the lady because she really needed some help. And uh, now her furniture's over there. Now I can't, I'm not putting it back. I took it out, and this is some heavy furniture. I'm not a moving company. I'm a junk removal company. I'm a trash man, not a moving man. But anyway, this is Johnny Bobby Junk Call and Roll Off Dumpsters, and this is a hoarder clean out Virginia Beach. As I said before, we do eviction clean out, hoarder clean out. We do a lot of clean outs. We do it all. Johnny Bobby Junk Call and Roll Off Dumpsters. Have a great day.